Hello guys, welcome to Mercedes-Benz King. This is the most luxurious, the largest SUV of Mercedes-Benz. It is an S-Class on stilts, the GLS 400D. And in this video, I will show you the complete exterior, interior, and you will take it for a quick spin. So let's have a look at the front of the car. Here you can notice the first GLS characteristic, and that is that it has a very large hood. It is so high off the ground. And in combination with the selenite grey exterior colour, the AMG package as well as the night package, it looks very luxurious and sportive in the same time. But this of course is a luxury SUV which is also capable to go off-road. So that's why it has the off-road characteristics as you can see from the two horizontal lines at the grill. It has the new multi-beam LED headlights. And if you look closer, you can notice the design with the three vertical lines, just like the S-Class. And one headlight has 112 LEDs, and with one Lux, it can reach 650 meters ahead. So Mercedes-Benz really pushes it to the limit with this GLS. Let's move over into the side. And here you can notice, compared to the predecessor, it is 7.7 .7 centimeters longer making it 5 meters and 21 centimeters. The S-Class is almost the same size, the long wheel base. Blacked out lines around the window, including the side mirror, and that means it has the night package. It also has the side step, a typical off-road characteristic. And moving into the front, you can notice these large massive rims. These are 23 inch. It has the shadow black design, it really matches the selenite grey exterior colour. And the size of the tyres are 285, 40, 23 inch. A lovely Mercedes star in the centre and a gap for the aerodynamics in the front bumper. It has the newest MBUX with all new gadgets. It also has the car wash function. So if you press the button, the mirrors will fold in. The suspension will lower and the wheels will tighten and the windows will all close. And furthermore it has an upper line and a lower line which actually connect more to the rear side. But the upper line goes further at the rear of the car with a really power stand. These rear tires are even thicker, 325, 35 and also 23 inch. So let's move over to the rear side. It has a very horizontal tail light design, similar to the GLB and GLC, with a curvy shape at the end. The GLE and the GLE Coupe have a more pointy edge in the end. So let me know guys, which one do you like better? It also of course has a tow bar. Here you can see my Mercedes bag. And it has space for seven adults in the interior. There they go. Amazing. So this way it has 2,400 liters of trunk capacity. This is huge guys. And yes, you can see the seat adjustments in the rear with the Burmese surround sound system. So let's remove the cover. And it fits perfectly. So now let's pull the seats back into position. Here you can see the second row. It's all automatic. And now the third row. So let's close the trunk and we will have a look at the interior. It has soft closing and you can see the digital screen that the GLS appears. So let's press the button for the electronics to work. And my first impression is that it is huge. Here in the interior you have a lot of space, especially for your arms. And you also sit 
pretty high off the ground you can see over other cars so the visibility is great it also has the newest technology and design interior here you have two large digital screens both are 10.6 inches and they are very crisp you can control the screen in front of you with a touchpad system on the steering wheel and the infotainment system screen over here is a touch screen so you can press the home button and just swipe to all the settings and I really love these handles which you can grab it also has the ambient lighting around it hey Mercedes how may I help you change the ambient lighting to blue okay I'm changing the color hey Mercedes how may I help you change the ambient lighting to red okay I'm changing the color that's great guys and I really love the materials it has the leather stitching all around the interior here at the compartment it has a lot of storage space also with the USB-C connectivity nice wooden center console and here you have a wireless charger for your phone and also cup holders which you can heat or cool soft closing doors also for the rear seats and as you can see my seating position is great and that's because these seats are tilted a little bit backwards that makes it that it has a lot more leg room around 30 centimeters and the headspace is also very decent even with these dual panoramic roof the quality is great it has the wood door panel Burmester surround sound system with the ambient lighting the floor tunnel is also very low to the ground so it's very easy to just switch seats you don't have to pull your legs up so back into position it also has a sunshade as an option and you can also fully close the panoramic roof all the way to the rear with these buttons you can change the seat position so you can push it forward so that there is more space for the third row passenger in total seven people can fit here in this vehicle it also has the headrest which you can adjust furthermore some coat hangers and it also has the thermometric air conditioning control it's fully automatic so let's have a look at the third row passengers because Mercedes claims that even a person of 1 meters and 94 centimeters can fit in the third row so let's have a look so there are multiple ways to have access to the third row you also have this button over here that the first passenger row comes forward and the second one adjusts so that it's easy to go inside And let's put the third row up. So as you can see, I actually fit here in the third row. You also have your headrest, which you have to push up. So it's more comfortable for your back. So with the second seat pushed forward, I have minimal leg room. But in terms of headspace, it is decent. I'm not touching the roof. So it has a great and very massive C pillar. Soft closing, of course. So let's have a look at what is under the bonnet of this GLS 400D. Amazing. So I have to say it is very powerful it has the same torque as the GLS 580 with a V8 petrol engine so this is a 3 liter 6 cylinder diesel engine with 700 newton meters of torque and 330 horsepower taking it from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 6 seconds and it has a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour so let's take it on the road So let's go. Mm -hmm. 
So let's go. Massive. It feels like a boat when you drive. And the way it accelerates. Check out my other videos with a more extended driving footage. Also on Instagram you will find more footage of the driving scenes. The link is down below so follow Birds Benz King. So first of all it has this very cool button on the center console. If you press it you will get to the quick access. Here you can turn on or off the heads up display. Steering assist, lane keeping assist and a lot more. And you really feel like a boss when driving this GLS. It is so large. You are looking over the, the older cars. So you can definitely see what's going on around it. So when you drive in this city, the fuel consumption will be around 10 liters per 100 kilometers. So if you drive on the highway with a maximum speed of 100 or 120 kilometers an hour, you will get around 7 or 8 liters per 100 kilometers, so that's great. So guys, thanks for watching Merch Benz King. I hope you like this video. With the GLS 400D and of course we will also drive the 63 AMG. A lot of sensors and I understand because it's such a large vehicle and mistakes are easy to make. <laughs>